Hello, everyone. It is I, your Lord and Master, Dr. Earth Robotnik. Robotnik, and I will be playing some good old Metal Gear Solid on the original PlayStation 1. And this shall be a standard, normal mode playthrough. No big boss run or, or contender for the next. This is how you don't play. This will just be a standard, I'm playing the game and just gonna have some good old fun, play some commentary, get on with this. Just cause I freaking love this game. Easily one of the best damn PlayStation 1 games ever made. Which Phil just kinda completely shit on when he made it. Quote unquote, playthrough. Where all he did was just whinely bitch and whine of how Kojima's an quote unquote asshole and a quote unquote cocksucker. While all he's doing, while he makes mistakes that are clearly his own damn fault. And expect a good amount of take that's the dark side feel, cause that's the way I roll on my channel. And Kanali back before they sold out and became pieces of shit. A Hideo Kojima game. Alaska the Bering Sea. disposal facility on Shadow Moses Island in Alaska's Fox Archipelago was attacked and captured by next generation special forces being led by members of Foxhound. They're demanding that the government turn over the remains of Big Boss and they say that if their demands are not met within 24 hours they'll launch a nuclear weapon. You'll have two mission objectives. First, you're to rescue DARPA Chief Donald Anderson and the president of Armstech, Kenneth Baker. Both are being held as hostages. Secondly, you're to investigate whether or not the terrorists have the ability to make a nuclear strike. You stop them if they do. What's the insertion method? We'll approach the disposal facility by sub. And then a one-man SDV. After the SDV gets as close as it can, dispose of it. From there on, you'll have to swim. High-tech Special Forces Unit Foxhound. Your former unit, and one that I was a commander of. So they're still around. There are six members of Foxhound involved in this terrorist activity. Psycho Mattis, with his powerful psychic abilities. Sniper Wolf, a beautiful and deadly sharpshooter. Decoy Octopus, master of disguise. Vulcan Raven, giant and shaman. And Revolver Ocelot, specialist in interrogation and a formidable gunfighter. And finally, in charge of them, Foxhound squad leader, Liquid Snake. Liquid Snake? The man with the same code name as you. The nuclear weapons disposal facility covers the whole island. I'll instruct you by codec after you reach your target. Anyone going with me? As usual, this is a one-man infiltration mission. Weapons and equipment, OSP? Yes. This is a top-secret black op. Don't expect any official support. Okay then, let's get this rolling. Just because I want to play one of the best damn PlayStation 1 games ever made, and one that was a relic of before Konami started a suck ass. No, I don't want to load game, I don't have anything to load really. Let's see. Options. Okay, we're good. Let's see. That's am good. Uh, 
and we'll do a normal mode just because why not and this will be how you do play Metal Gear Solid although a non big boss run and by the way David Hayter the voice for Snake actually screen wrote the first two X-Men movies and is a huge fan of the games Just some useless trivia I'd like to point out. And now begins the infiltration after this stylized cinematic introduction. Stay alert. Can you be through here? I know it. I'm going to swat down a couple of bothersome flies. This is Snake. Colonel, can you hear me? Loud and clear. What's the situation, Snake? Looks like the elevator in the back is the only way up. Just as I expected. You'll have to take the elevator to the surface. But make sure nobody sees you. If you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency is 140.85. When you want to use the codec, push the select button. When we need to contact you, the codec will beep. When you hear that noise, press the select button. The codex receiver directly stimulates the small bones of your ear. No one but you will be able to hear it. Got it. Okay, I'm ready to go. There we go, compared to Snake Eaters, which Snake Eaters not a bad game. It's just I felt like the codec, from what I played of it, but I felt like the introductory cuts in codec just kind of really just nearly turned me away. And let's turn it on analog mode, and now we're ready. Just walk down here to grab that ration. How do I use the rations? Oh, it's L2, obviously. Because I've played this game before. Let's see, let's wait for him to walk away. Go grab that rash and we're all good to go. I don't want to grab the ration. That was a close one. Uh oh. Well, that's a bad start. Eh. This is stupid, cause I got cut in here. Take that. Okay, I need to get past that guy. It's funny how they don't even notice the elevator going up, as if, like, they don't hear anything. 
always found that a little silly. Eh. What am I to say? This game has like the famous Psycho Madness battle, which... I mean, really, I shouldn't really try to hide the secret behind it, but almost everyone knows it, but I'll do what I can. Directed by Hideo Kojima. By the almighty Lord Kojima. Kojima is love. Kojima is life, everybody. Metal Gear Solid Tactical Espionage Action. Snake, I'm in front of the disposal facility. Excellent, Snake. Age hasn't slowed you down one bit. How's that sneaking suit working out? I'm nice and dry, but it's a little hard to move. Bear with it. It's designed to prevent hypothermia. This is Alaska, you know. Take it easy. I'm grateful. If it weren't for your suit and your shot, I would have turned into a popsicle out there. An anti-freezing peptide, Snake. All of the genome soldiers in this exercise are using it. I see. I'm relieved to hear that. Already tested, huh? By the way, how's the diversionary operation going? Two F-16s just took off from Galena and are headed your way. The terrorist radar should have already picked them up. Behind D. Colonel, what's a Russian gunship doing here? I have no idea. But it looks like our little diversion got their attention. Now's your best chance. Oh, the controller's vibrating. I forgot they get to when cutscenes would always do that, also. Not. There are only 18 hours left until their deadline. You've got to hurry. Wow, he must be crazy to fly behind in this kind of weather. Who's that? Oh, sorry. I haven't introduced you two yet. This is Mei Ling. She was assigned to us as our visual and data processing specialist. She designed your codec, as well as your Soliton radar system. Contact her if you have any questions about either of them. <laughs> nice to meet you, Snake. It's an honor to speak to a, a living legend like yourself. What's wrong? Nothing. I just didn't expect a world-class designer of military technology to be so... cute. <laughs> You're just flattering me. No, I'm serious. Well, I know I won't be bored for the next 18 hours. Come on. I can't believe I'm being hit on by the famous Solid Snake. But, uh, I'm surprised. You're very frank for a trained killer. Looks like we both have a lot to learn about each other. Yeah. I'm looking forward to learning about the man behind the legend. But first, let me explain about your Soliton radar system. The bright dot in the middle is you, Snake. The red dots are your enemies, and the blue cone shape represents their field of vision. Be careful, Snake. The genome soldiers have highly developed senses of hearing and vision due to their gene therapy. Make sure you don't let them see you. First, Phil could take that advice. The disposal site and look for the DARPA chief. The DARPA chief was injected with the same GPS transmitting nanomachines as you. He should appear on your radar as a green dot. Get whatever information you can from him about the terrorists. If he's alive, that is. Snake. 
snake your radar isn't affected by the weather, but if you're discovered by an enemy, you won't be able to use it. Yes, it gets jammed easily, I'm afraid. Yes, it's all made from currently existing technology. You won't be able to use it in an area with strong harmonic resonance, so be careful. We'll be monitoring your movements by radar, so contact us by codec anytime you want. Got it. I'll call if I'm feeling lonely. Seriously, Snake, we're here to back you up, so call if you need some information. Some more advice Phil could use. I'm also in charge of your mission data. Contact me if you want me to record your current status. My frequency is 140.96. It's a dedicated frequency for saving data. Don't forget it. Remember, except for your binoculars, you're naked. You need to arm yourself with whatever weapons you can find. I remember. First, I'm strip-searched by Dr. Naomi here, and then all my weapons are taken away. Imagine yourself put in that position. Well, if you make it back in one piece, maybe I'll let you do a strip-search on me. I'm guessing Solid Snake's getting a Solid Snake at that idea. I'm sorry to disappoint you, but I did manage to smuggle out my smokes. How did you do that? Did it? In my stomach. Thanks to the shot you gave me that suppressed my stomach acids. So he essentially so ate his cigarettes with, while his stomach acids Never were suppressed. Know. Eh. At least he didn't shove him up his ass. If you want to get in, there's the front door. It's the fastest way, but there's too much risk of being spotted by the enemy. I can't just knock on the door and ask them to let me in. No oh, shit. There's sentry on the left and one on the right. They're armed with five five sixers and pineapples. What about the air duct near the door? There should also be a duct on the second floor. I can't see it from here. I'll let you decide the best COA. I'm counting on you, Snake. Okay, now I'll finally we get some movement, but... Then again, this is a cinematic experience, so really, I kind of then it is a Metal Gear game, actually, so we, it's natural to expect long ass cutscenes. Especially since MGS4 had one that clocked in around like 21 minutes, I think. From what I read, I haven't actually played it yet. Let's see. Check that. A surveillance camera? That way, get some stun grenades. Since this game, we also don't have the tranquilizer darts. I thought, no, I don't want to hop back in there. Oh, crap. Oh, I put my rations in those. Put my gun in self defense. Should I need to use? There we go. That's how you why you should use your guns, Phil. Not just to play like Call of Duty, but just to simply eliminate obstacles and the means of self-defense. Sadly, this is how my nephew tried to play MGS. He just rushed through and he rage quit it. Snake, this is McDonald Miller. It's been a long time. Master, what are you doing here? Oh hi, Master. I quit being a drill instructor, so I moved out here for some peace and quiet. I'm in retirement, just like you. Once in a while, I still help train the Alaskan scouts. Passing on the skills to a new generation, huh? <laughs> Campbell told me about the situation here. I thought I might be of some use. There's no one I'd rather have in a foxhole than you. Well, I know lots about survival in a harsh environment. I've lived in Alaska longer than you. So call me if you have any questions about the flora or fauna out here. My frequency is 
Okay. in the first floor basement. What about the vent shaft cleaning? They just opened the vent covers. They're about to start spraying for rats. First floor basement ventilation shaft. Shut those covers as soon as they're done spraying. Also, keep your eye on that woman in the cell. Don't get careless now. Woman in the cell? Did something happen? There's an intruder. Really? He's already done three people. He's killed three people? Holy... Yeah. Bullshit, I killed only one person. He's using stealth, too. Stealth? There's an intruder besides me? Uh oh. Anyway, they ain't talking about me. the security detail on the chief. I see some rations, which are relatively useless for me right now, because I actually have... What the... Press yes. the action button to drop down. Oh, circle. Forgot about that, it's just been a whole little while. It's been about like a month since I last played this. Use the elevator to change floors. There should be a cargo elevator that you can take down somewhere around there. Try to find it. There we go. Now begins the epic. Oh, we don't have the proper equipment yet. Thermal goggles. Getting them much earlier than we should. <laughs> See, this will help us out when it comes to detecting traps and stuff. Like, I think this can. De I mean, I usually use a mine detector for clay moors. Okay, so we have to wait before we can get our trademark cardboard cardboard box. Kinda sucks. Oh, whoops. Let's see, I'm low on gun ammo, so just stun everybody. There we go, now I got some gun ammunition. No one will know I'm here. Look at the radar. It's picking up the DARPA chief. He's the green dot. Hurry and rescue him. Okay. I shall do that, because that would be a good idea to do, wouldn't it? I don't need to know how to climb ladder. I know to push this damn circle button.
Oh, hi, Mel. Not him. Snake, the DARPA chief signal. I just figured that out. Bungle. Oh, hi, DARPA chief. Save you. You're the DARPA chief, Donald Anderson, right? You here to save me, huh? What's your outfit? I'm the pawn they sent here to save your worthless butt. Really? It's true. You don't look like one of them. In that case, hurry up and get me out of here. Slow down. Don't worry. First, I want some information about the terrorists. The terrorists? Do they really have the ability to launch a nuke? What are you talking about? The terrorists are threatening the White House. They say if they don't accede to their demands, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. Sweet Jesus. Is it possible? It's possible. They could launch a nuke. Uh, what? How do they plan to launch? I thought this place was just for keeping the dismantled warheads. They shouldn't have access to a missile. What I'm about to tell you is classified information. Okay? We were conducting exercises with a new type of experimental weapon. A weapon that will change the world. What? A weapon with the ability to launch a nuclear attack from any place on the face of the Earth. A nuclear-equipped walking battle tank. Metal Gear... It can't be... You knew? Metal Gear is one of the most secret black projects. How did you know that? We've had a couple of run-ins in the past. So that's the reason you were here at this disposal site? Why else would I come to a godforsaken place like this? I had heard the Metal Gear project was scrapped. On the contrary, it's grown into a huge joint project between arms tech and ourselves. We were going to use this exercise as raw data and then proceed to mass production. If it hadn't been for the revolution... Revolution? Rex has fallen into the hands of terrorists. Rex. Metal Gear Rex. The code name for the new Metal Gear prototype. They're probably already finished arming the warhead they plan to use with. Oh, hi, Johnny. These guys are pros. They're all experienced in handling and equipping weapons. Hey! Shut up in there, will ya? But I thought that all nuclear warheads were equipped with safety measures. Some kind of detonation code that you have to input. Oh, you mean PAL. Yes, of course, there is a PAL. It's set up so that you need to input two different passwords in order to launch the device. There are two passwords? Yes. Baker knows one, and I know one. Baker? The president of arms tech. That's right. Each of us needs to input our password, or there can be no launch. But... They found out my password. You talked. Psychomantis can read people's minds. You can't resist. Psychomantis? One of the members of Foxhound. He has psychic powers. This is bad. It's just a matter of time before they get Baker's too. If they find out Baker's password... Yes, they'll be able to launch a nuke any time. But there is a way to stop the launch. What? The card keys. Card keys? 
They were designed by arms tech. The system developers, there's an emergency override. Even without the passwords, you can just insert the card keys and engage the safety lock. And if I do that? Yes. You can stop the launch. That card key? So where are the keys? Baker should have them. Listen, you need three card keys. There are three different slots to put them in. You need to insert a card into each one of them. Okay, three card keys. Do you know where they might be keeping Baker? Somewhere in the second floor basement. Second floor basement? I heard the guards say they moved him to an area that has a lot of electronic jamming. Any other clues? Yes, they cemented over the entrances, but didn't have enough time to paint them. Why don't you look for the areas where the walls are a different color? Here, take this. It's my ID card. It'll open any level one security door. It's called a pan card. It works together with your body's own electrical field. Personal area network, huh? It transmits data using the salts in your body as the transmission medium. As you approach the door's security devices, they'll read the data stored in the card. And the doors will open automatically. Gotcha. Okay, I'm gonna get you out of here. Wait a minute. What is it? You haven't heard any other way to disarm the pal, have you? From your bosses or anyone? No. Are you sure you haven't heard anything? I just said no. So does the White House plan to give in to the terrorist demands? That's their problem. It has nothing to do with my orders. But what about the Pentagon? Pentagon? What is it? Naomi, the chief. What happened? I... I don't know. It looked like a heart attack, but... A heart attack? No. Colonel, are you hiding something from me? Absolutely not. Snake, you've got to understand. This op is security level red. You need the highest security clearance to get access to the complete file. You want me to believe that you're in charge of this op, but you don't have complete access to the file? I told you. The Secretary of Defense is in operational control. I'm just here as your support. Snake, we don't have time to debate. Get out of there and find President Baker. Let's see, I think I'll cut this part here. See you guys next time.